Hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo estáis? ¿Bien? Me alegro. Good, I hope you're all okay. Uh, okay, so we're still in the P's now. This is audio number 19. Can you believe this is 19? If you're working your way through these and you've, you've gotten up to 19, well done. Muy bien hecho. Okay, there are going to be a number more. After we've done all of these, we'll, we're going to do a very short range of verbs as well, because there's nothing worse than learning a load of vocab and then having nothing to hang it on. So I'm going to give you a lot of verbs as well and use the same system so that you can remember them. Okay, excellent. Entonces, a ver, let's see. The first word that we're going to learn today is the word for teacher, okay? Now there are various other words. The, the most used word is the word profesor. Profesor. Okay? So we've got the word professor, alright? It's it's normally for university and things like that, but just it's the same word. Professor, teacher. Okay? So just imagine your teacher, the old fashioned one with a mortarboard and a cape on teaching. Okay? I'm telling you, this is how you have to think. Profesor, teacher, okay? Then the word for soon, for soon is pronto. Pronto, okay? We use this, don't we? But you know how we use it? We use it slightly incorrectly. We use it like for immediately. And I want that pronto, okay? But it isn't really immediately, it's soon, okay? So if you wanted, if you want your um, printing done soon, use pronto print. They've, see, they've stolen the word. Pronto is soon. Okay, next word is door. The door that you would open, okay? And the word for door is puerta. Puerta. So this is now, this is going to demand your attention and your imagination, but that's no problem because I know you've got both. Right. Imagine a door. Okay. And imagine on the door painted is a big green pear. Okay. So that gives you the sound pear, but it's not pear, it's puerta. So in the middle of the pear, I'd like you to draw, in your mind's eye, a big red W, okay? A big red W, so that when you see the pair, and then in the middle of it you see a W, you know that it's puerta. Puerta, okay? That's for door, puerta. Excellent. The next word is, right, this is good. We'll spend a little bit of time on this. Do you know when, when, you, when you're talking, okay, and you want to say something, but you, you haven't quite formulated what it is that you want to say in your mind? You kind of, you have the idea, but you need a little bit of breathing space, a little bit of time. Now, in English, quite often we'll say, well, and we'll hang on to the word well, or we'll say, so, and we'll hang on to that, all right? Well, as you can imagine, Spanish speakers do exactly the same. And one word that they use to do this so, well, then, anyway, that kind of stuff, yeah, is the word pues. Pues. Okay? Pues. And they do this a lot. Pues. No sé. Okay? So then, well, okay, so pues. So how you can remember this is, imagine every time that you need a bit of breathing space, you need a bit of time, imagine a big red button in front of you. This is the button that you have to pues to get a bit of breathing space. So you go, well, I'm not sure what I'm gonna say, I'll pues the button. Pues. And then you or then you can carry on okay some people have that down to a fine art and they just make these noises and you know what you know what we use this for as well just as an aside um, when we don't want anyone to steal our conversation offers 
we want the floor. So we're talking, we have no idea, no idea what we're going to say next, but we don't want them to talk. So what we do is we use these fillers and we fill in the gap. So people aren't rude, they're not going to disturb you or interrupt you, so they just wait while you say, bueno, y pues, thinking what on earth, I want, I want to say something, but I don't know what it is. So pues, so you press the red button to give yourself a bit of time. Next one is the word dot or full stop. It's the same thing, a full stop or a dot. And that word is punto. Punto. Okay. So it's very similar. We've got a Fiat Punto as a car. Have you, have you seen a Fiat Punto? I don't know if you noticed, but in the name, it, it's Italian, but it means the same. It's, it's got a dot over on the little, the insignia that they use. It's all about a dot. Okay, but it looks like the word point, our word point. And if we want to say point, it can also mean dot, can't it? Put a point on there. Okay, so punto dot is a little point. Okay, little point, punto. And then the last one, which happens to be a Q, and there's only one word that's Q in this. And that word is cheese. Okay, the word for cheese is queso. Queso. Right. How do you remember this one? Easy. Imagine you order some cheese and it comes in a very big case, a big wooden case filled with cheese and you plunk it on your bench. Smash open the case and eat all the cheese and you're constipated for a week. Queso in a case. Okay. Cheese in a case. Queso. And watch out, it's not queso. Lots of people want to say that. It's queso. Q U is a k sound, okay? Queso. All right, let's test you out. Are you ready? Spanish words, you tell me the English. Are you ready? Profesor. Profesor is a, of course, motorboard cape teacher. A teacher. Okay. What about this one? Pronto. Pronto. Okay, we use it wrongly. It means soon. You're going to get your photocopying soon from Pronto Print. And then this one. Puerta. Puerta. What is it? Where do you see the pair with the wood in the middle? On a door. Puerta is door. Okay. Next one. Pues, pues. It means then, so, well. It has a multiple meanings. Okay, pues. And then, punto. Punto. Full stop or a dot. Okay. They use this in um, emails. All right. They'll say punto com, punto co, punto uca. Yeah. Punto com. So that's how they say an email. Okay. And there's just out of interest, the, the at sign is arroba just so you know when you're doing an email address if you hear the the word arroba that means them they're saying at okay and then uh last one queso queso what comes in a big case cheese queso Excellent. How are you doing with this system? Are you starting to get a feel for it? Okay, you can dip in and dip out and dip in and dip out. Maybe some of the words you already know, maybe some of them are new. Um, but at least here, I'm not Spanish speaking by any means and I never profess to have the perfect Spanish accent, but I will help you with the pronunciation because one of the important things about learning Spanish is not just learning the words, but it's learning to say them so that Spanish speakers can understand you. 
Jacob, there's nothing worse than knowing the word, and yet every time that you say it, nobody can understand what it is that you're saying. All right, so it's important. It's important to get it right. Okay, pero estoy aquí para ayudarlos. I'm here to help you, okay? Entonces, nos vemos en el próximo, el número 20. Sí, esta vez. 20 into the next one. Okay, hasta luego, chicos. Adiós.